Hey guys, Tony here from WarcraftTV.com. I just wanted to cover the add-on Auction Master real fast and show you how easy it is to use. So we'll go to the Auctioneer and we'll open up the tab and up top you see Auction Master. Go to Configure. We're going to go to Seller. And this is the important part here, the bid multiplier. So you can drag it back and forth. What that does is it makes your bid amount the same as your sell amount and if you've ever used the auction auction house you understand what that means that you can change the different values between your bid and your auction so I'm gonna go ahead and list these up here and you'll see that it shows you the duration it shows you other auctions you're competing against so there's one at the high end for 50 gold there's one at the middle end for 28 gold I'm gonna change these settings down to 12 hours stacks of one and you'll see my starting price and my buyout price are exactly the same. That's because I put the value on that slider to 100% so that my starting price is exactly the same as my buyout price. So you see here I just listed all these in stacks of one for 27 gold each and it puts me just under the middle price of 28 gold. And I'm going to go ahead and list a couple other things here so you can see how that works. When you throw it up in there, see there's one other here. Change the duration. I usually sell in 12 hour increments since you'll probably get undercut. And that's exactly what I'm doing in case you didn't catch that. I am undercutting the other people up there at reasonable prices. So you'll see again that my starting price is the same as my buyout price and I'm still below the current auction that's up there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and list a couple more things here so you can see how that works. You can also see that Auction Master is putting more information when you hover over the item. It shows you the buyouts and a brief history of uh, the auctions for that particular item that have been sold in the past couple of days. So again here, I just underbid or listed just below the current auction these I'm actually you see they're in stacks of 20 are currently being sold up there I'm gonna sell them in stacks of one at 12 hours I have nine of them to sell and I'm gonna go ahead and bump the price up just a little bit since I'm selling individually instead of in a stack of 20 like the uh, other seller and here's some other options you can list in fixed price current price lower end market price and such but I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my own value and I'm just going to mark it up a little bit. But that's because I'm selling them in singles and not in stacks. So I will go ahead and do that. They're currently selling for 12 gold and 61 silver in stacks. I bumped it up to 14 gold each. So you'll see that it shows me as actually being a higher price, but I'm selling them in individual stacks versus stacks of 20. So someone may only need one or two, and that's the reasoning behind that. And I'm going to list one of these. I have three of them that I can sell, but I do not want to sell all three of them. I only want to sell one at this time, since there is four more currently being sold in the auction house. So I'm going to change the amount to one, again for 12 hours. And I'm just undercutting the lower price there. And there you go. See, now I am below the current ones that are up there, and we can do a quick search for those items. And you'll see what it looks like. So there's two above me, and I am the lower price. And even though I'm only coming in one gold lower, actually one silver lower, it still puts me, it ranks me lower when you do a search for that particular item. And that's just the general mentality of the auction house. People will always buy the lower one regardless of how low it is. So these are some of the basic functions of Auction Master. Again, you have your, your normal auction house view where you can see everything that you just listed. The reason I recommend this for beginners, and I do recommend it for beginners, not necessarily for more advanced players, but beginners who just want to quickly sell off their items and don't mind undercutting the current people that are up there. You don't have to undercut by a lot. 
literally one copper will do it because it will still list you lower than everybody else. This also has a scan feature, which I'm going to perform a quick scan. And that's as fast as it takes. It will also show you a snipe function, which allows you to have a, an idea of what you should purchase and then resell. Resell's I don't actually use that, that function, but it is in there. Anyways, that's how you use Auction Master add-on. My name's Tony. Thanks for watching this video, and please leave a comment. I will talk to you later.